Hi, how are you? I hope that this time has found you, that's finding you in a good, um, in a good state, in a good energetic balance, because since we've had the full moon, it has been a very um, big change that has been, that's coming, that has been here, that's been waiting to, to pop out, to clear away some of the muckiness, some of the um, confusion, some of the, the stagnant energy that has been being dragging along. And this is a time that um, with this full moon and the eclipse and the, um, it's today, today's the ninth, so tomorrow, tomorrow the day after, we also have the, um, the equinox. So there's a whole thing that's happening. It's a big, plus we've had major, major solar flares happening throughout the week and um these have really uh, cleared out some of the energy or or picked up some of the pieces that have been really hidden and really being kept under wrap uh for us to that we've been trying to avoid clearing or avoid looking at them or avoid uh acknowledging them so these these emotions or these situations are coming up don't fear them don't be afraid of them don't run away from them embrace them and honor the spaces of where you're at honor the space that you're feeling like uh, like you know um crappy you're feeling down or you're feeling that confusion or are you feeling um agitated whatever it is that you're feeling Honor that feeling, keep that feeling, face it, um, and then allow yourself to see where is that? Where is it coming from in your body? Where is it coming from in your lifetime? Where is it that, where is the work that needs to be done at? Where is it that, what is it that you need to have a deeper look with and what needs to be changed? So there's a lot of things that are, uh, there are shifting. I feel like uh, the way they're showing me, my, my spirit guides are showing me the these changes are, are like plates on the earth and they're like, they're shifting and they're shifting and they're trying to adjust themselves and how that is adjusting themselves. These are the layers in us that are trying to clear away whatever it is in between these layers that there is dust and there is particles or stuff like that that needs to come out. And these are things that we have not been able to access before. And now that we're in this space, we are able to access this space and are able to access these situations and these these emotions and these things that we have been trying to hide from or not look at them. So embrace them. And this is the time where the major changes happen. You know, for example, yesterday I felt very, very down and I did not, I felt very confused. I wasn't sure where I was coming or going. I wasn't sure if this is what I was doing and what am I doing and questioning myself a lot and, and then being confused and I thought, I thought to myself, okay, I took a few breaths, I took time to ground, I took time to sit outside for a little bit and be with nature. And then I realized I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna ride this coaster, ride this roller coaster and allow me and see where it takes me. And this is exactly what we need to do. And today when I woke up this morning, I am feeling so much more grounded, so much more clarity, so much more awareness of and, and where it is I need to put the focus on and what I need to do next. So I'm gonna pull a couple of cards and see what my spirit guides and my angels have to say about this situation and this emotions. And these times right now that we are having so much going on in around us that we are not seeing with our naked eyes, but we can feel them with our emotions, but we don't even know where they're coming from. Some of us, you know, um, who are not in, very connected to the energies or the awareness, we don't know where these are coming from. So here's a card that came up and breathe. So take several deep breaths and exhale slowly and awaken your energy and to release old pattern. How cool is that? right so this is exactly what what our angels are asking us to do our guides are asking us to take a moment 
to be with this energy, but take a deep breath and allow yourself to be in this space. Have grace, be graceful with yourself, be patient with yourself. Give yourself time and give yourself um, honor to, to go through these emotions and go through these hard times and whatever they are that need to come through. So be kind to yourself, okay? One more, one more card, see one or two, whatever needs to come through from the highest good. Let's see, uh, life, review, life review. So take inventory of your life and resolve to change, to, to change or to heal anything that is unbalanced. So how, you know, what is it that is not working anymore in your life? Because we are creatures of changes. And we completely, we always constantly change. We're constantly, you know, ebbing and flowing. And this is part of like, just like the water is flowing through the river and it finds obstacles and it works through the obstacles or around the obstacles and it still continues to flow. This is how we have to find our way to keep flowing with ease through this life path. Don't resist. The more you resist, the more you create um, you create resistance and you create uh, issues in your body. And these issues in your body, and then they'll come up with some illnesses. That's exactly what, uh, you don't want that. So you want to clear away those, and you want to embrace the flow of life and however it comes to you. I'm not saying that, um, you know, to disregard if you have issues. Yes, you can look at them, you can take, but do not, get sucked into that emotion and stay there, okay? The other one is uh, crystal clear intentions. It's a really good one. Be clear about your desires and focus upon it and wearing with faith. So whatever it is that you need to, um, what is it that you want to focus yourself on? It's whatever intentions you put out. Where where do you want to live? Do you want to live in fear? Do you want to live in a in a place that is constantly disharmonious? That you're always are you know are worried about everything around you, or do you want to live in a place where you are confident? You're confident. You are calm. You are quiet. You're in a peaceful state and you're in a loving state and just flowing with that and yes things are going to come up for you to deal with because it's part of life we've come to experience those emotions but don't run away from those emotions um, embrace them with love the best you can and if you don't um, if you're having a hard time with it by yourself reach out to someone who can clarify or who can help you and you know by the way meditation is part of like clearing away that that chattering mind clearing away that stress in your body allowing your body to actually relax and to your muscles to to relax and have that breath and we have so forgotten that because we live in a world that it's a constantly go, go, go. And so our nervous system is so shot, it's so tense that, you know, when you come into a situation that it's a little bit um, uncomfortable, your body's already so tense that your reaction will be to fly off the handle. And you wouldn't normally do that if you are in a calm state. So, I'll leave you with these messages and I do hope that you find your peace in your love and um, many blessings to you. Please follow for more and um, share this video if you feel called to and um, embrace your life however it comes, easier it will be. Blessings for you all. Bye.